Good morning, everyone. It's a graph here with your Saturday News Round live on CBBC. First up, happy Lunar New Year to all of those who are celebrating. Now, events are taking place all across the world. There were traditional Chinese performances in Beijing and over in Peru, too. In Taiwan, monks brought in the new year by striking a bell 108 times. And just take a look at these fireworks in Serbia. Celebrations are also taking place across the UK, including in Manchester, where we met some young people getting ready for two special performances. I celebrate Chinese New Year by getting together with my family and having a big feast. And so for Chinese New Year, we usually eat dumplings, which is jiaozi. We eat noodles, which is mian tiao. And I eat hot pot, which is huo guo. Because a, a noodle represents you will have a long life. My favorite bit of New Year is eating the dumplings. My favorite part is when um, we all get together and have a good time. We're going to be like joining this festival. We go on the stage to sing Mo Li Hua, which is a song about a jasmine flower, and Gong Si Gong Si, which means celebration, celebration. I'm going to go on stage and sing to many audiences around Manchester and it's going to be pretty awesome and I'm looking forward to it. I'm excited and nervous but I'm also looking forward to it because I never sang on a real stage and I love singing. I'm really looking forward to um, the singing part because I never took part of a festival before. We've been practicing really hard in these three weeks to try and perform our best. Oh, good luck on the big performance, guys. And you guys can, at home can find out all about Lunar New Year over on the New Zhang website, including finding out your Chinese zodiac animal, where the year of your birth is represented by a different creature. And just so you guys know, I am the year of the pig. And while you're on the website, make sure you take part in our vote on the best weekend telly. And not going to lie to you guys, you lot are showing a lot of love for the gladiators. We've got Swan's lad who says they've got the will and the skill to watch it. It's brilliant. We've also heard from Rainbow Sprinkles, who says when it comes to weekend telly, Gladiators and Strictly are their favourites. But we do have one news rounder who isn't as keen, saying, I haven't watched Gladiators, but it looks terrible. All I see is boastfulness. Well, remember, you guys can visit our website to have your say as well. Next, there's a big match in the Rugby Union Six Nations Championship this afternoon as two big rivals, England and Wales, face each other at Twickenham in London. Now, last weekend, England narrowly beat Italy, while Wales had a brilliant second half, coming back from 27-0 down, only to lose by a point against Scotland, who are also in action today, looking to make it two wins out of two when they play France at Murrayfield. Now, if you're not up to date with the news this week, then don't worry, we've got you covered. Emma Louise has got a quick roundup of some of the big stories you might have missed. First, there was important news about King Charles this week when it was announced that he'll be taking a break from his usual work as he gets treatment for cancer. For now, the King will put his engagements with the public on pause, but will carry on with his role as head of state. A royal spokesperson says the King has already started his treatment and that he is feeling positive about it. King Charles also says he is looking forward to getting back to his normal duties as soon as possible. Next, to Iceland, where a state of emergency was declared after lava from a volcanic eruption caused damage to water pipes there. More than 20,000 people had their hot water supply cut off as molten rock spewed out of the volcano. This is the third volcanic eruption to hit the area since September and the nearby town of Grindavik was evacuated in January. Finally, it was a super successful night for Taylor Swift at the Grammys, who made history, becoming the first artist to win Album of the Year four times. 
When collecting the top prize for her album Midnight's, she surprised fans by announcing she'll be releasing a new album called Tortured Poets Department. And that's all we've got time for this week, but now you're officially in the know. Thank you very much, Emma Louise. Next, this alligator snapping turtle is native to the American swamps, but was found by a dog walker in Cumbria in England. Now, despite its very scary appearance, it's been given the less ferocious name of Fluffy. Yeah, I'm not quite sure it suits the name if I'm going to be completely honest, but Fluffy is staying at a local vet and will later be rehomed. Right, that's all we have time for today. We'll catch you bright and early tomorrow morning. Have a fantastic Saturday, guys. Bye.